I always forget how actually blind I am until I put my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today I wanted to show you what my life is really like. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the kind of makeup that I do pretty much on a daily basis because I'm unorganized. <laughs> I want to call this makeup, oh shit, I've got up too late, I really should have got up when my alarm actually went off and not stayed in bed for half an hour longer. Which something to note about me is I love my bed and I love my sleep and I will wait to the very last moment that I need to get up to get up. <laughs> We've got all these productive people out here doing amazing things from the crack of dawn and I will never be one of those people. I've tried and I just can't do it. I don't know how you guys do it but that is what we're doing today. I'm going to show you what I've been wearing recently, how I do my makeup in five to ten minutes give or take. Before we get right on into the video though I do just want to say hi to all my new people who decided to join the channel and if you yourself are new and you're just now coming across one of my videos, welcome. I hope you decide to stay and join the channel. If you do happen to want to do that all you need to do is hit the red subscribe button and the bell button next to it. We've got a really nice group of people here and I see you guys. You guys are so sweet. Honestly some of the comments you guys leave I just don't feel like I'm worthy. You guys are the nicest people. So if you are new and you want to join really lovely people then feel free. You are more than welcome. If I seem a little bit jumpy in this video it's because there was a spider in this room yesterday and now there isn't. <laughs> or now I cannot see it and I don't know where it's gone. I hate, well I don't I hate, I know I do hate spiders. <laughs> They're just creepy and I just feel like they have the entire world, okay? They, they have the literal entire world outside of my room. <laughs> like, can I not just have my space? Can I keep it sacred and not have you scuttling and crawling around the room? Ugh. It stresses me out and honestly one of my worst fears is looking into my monitor and seeing a spider just crawl over my shoulder. And I saw I couldn't see it anymore. Uh, I was like, well, that's it. <laughs> my YouTube channel is over. I cannot enter my room again. I'm gonna have to move out and burn the house down. Uh, <laughs> but no, I plucked up the courage and decided to film today. So uh, you're welcome. If you don't hear from me again, it's because the spider got me. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop uh, rumbling now <laughs> and let's get on to the quickest makeup I can personally do. <laughs> That the people who actually know me right now are just laughing because I can never do anything quickly. <laughs> Especially when it comes to doing my makeup. I'm the one who's always laid out because I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> so I first start out with like a little bit of skincare. Obviously I've got a fresh face washed. And I do like to go over with a bit of micellar water as well to get rid of any excess oils or anything. Then I use the Pixi Glow Tonic. I really like this in the morning. I do it in the evening sometimes as well. But this just kind of like exfoliates your skin and gets rid of that like top layer of dead skin that may just be sitting there that you haven't possibly exfoliated and this just helps get rid of that and really make the skin just a little bit more alive, a little bit more awake and just look a little bit glowy. So I'm just going to use a cotton pad and just go over my face. I also like to use this to take the opportunity to kind of push into more porous areas and really give them a nice clean and always upward motions people. <laughs> Don't go dragging your face down. Gravity already does that. You don't need to be pulling on your face. Next, I like to go in with a gel-based moisturizer that's really fast absorbing. I personally quite like the Garnier gel water one that you can pick up for a reasonable price. I've been trying this one out and I freaking love the packaging on this, but it is so expensive and kind of overrated in my opinion. <laughs> this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. And yes, the packaging is gorgeous. And this is the small bottle because the shiz is expensive. Like so ridiculously expensive to the point where I'm just like, why did I bother? Honestly, I just get the Garnier. It's does the same thing and it's literally half the price. This small bottle cost me like £19 and they have a bigger one which is like 35 And to me that's just ridiculous for a moisturizer. But anyway. Jordan Lipscomb here on YouTube recommended this and she's got oily skin so I was like hmm, maybe it's gonna be good but uh I mean it's not bad it's just not worth the money in my opinion <laughs> so I just rub this into my skin like you would a moisturizer and your skin will feel really smooth from using that tonic so I really love that glow tonic I know everybody hyped it up but that one that one's worth the hype I really love that and just pat that in afterwards now that it's all blended. I usually when I wake up I've got bags for days because I don't sleep properly. 
and I stay on watching YouTube all night. So I've been using this. Honestly, I probably should throw this away. I've had this for a while, but eye creams are just so hard to go through because there's so much in a pot, I find. This is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depart. This has kind of like reflecting pearls in it, so it really reflects the light and really makes you look more awake. So I do quite like this. I don't feel like it does anything else for my under eye in all honesty. Kind of hydrates a little bit, but it hasn't like decreased my lines or anything. It's still definitely there. So I just take a little bit of this and I put a few dots just underneath my eye. And then I go around the orbital bone, which is just basically the eye socket. And I kind of bring it down slightly to about the cheekbone area, just because it's got that brightening agent. So I kind of want to make my face look a little bit lifted, you know? Oh, and also I get darkness right on the inner corner here. So I make sure to add the eye cream there so it really brightens up that area as well. And yeah, it looks like my skin is still wet, but this is just kind of like the reflection that the eye cream gives. Look nice and awake and kind of dewy. And then finally, I'll put a little bit of lip balm on. Uh, this is the this is the Mix Guided collaboration with Carmex, which is the most random collaboration I've ever heard of. <laughs> it's the classic Bay Balm. It's just a lip balm. This kind of has like a little bit of a tingling feel to it, but it doesn't necessarily plump the lips. But I've just been enjoying using it, and it just preps the lips, you know? Okay, so now my face is pretty much ready for the makeup that I'm gonna put on. So when I'm thinking about makeup and I'm in a rush, I feel like I just wanna look fresh. I wanna kinda even up my skin tone a little bit, but I also wanna be like blurred and uh, I, <laughs> I basically still wanna look perfect, but put minimal effort in. <laughs> so first thing I do is prime. I still prime even though I'm not necessarily using a full face of products. I like to do this because I have porous skin and also primer can also affect the longevity and also the finish of whatever makeup you're wearing. So I like to go in with primer. Lately I've been using the Origins Pore Perfecting Primer and I just apply a little bit of this to the kind of T-zone area and this just helps basically blur out my pores. If I'm not going to be going in with a lot of base products then I feel like doing this step just kind of helps my skin just look better in general so I do like using this on my t-zone area and on my cheeks as well because I have a few pores on there because I really want to go for the dewy fresh look I have been loving this baby that I tried in my try and elf products video it's the elf glow lotion I honestly really like this so I just apply this to the high points of my face so my cheekbones my forehead put a little bit on my chin and then I just blend it out with my fingers and I use the excess on other high points like my cupid's bow my nose things like that but it just gives a soft blue glow and it looks really pretty on bare skin or underneath products which is what I'm gonna move on to right now so when I don't want to wear a lot of product I tend to skip foundation <laughs> for me foundation is one of those things that I could blend out for years <laughs> So I like to bypass it a little bit and I go straight to concealer. Oh, while we're on the topic, I have ordered the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation by Makeup Revolution. It should be with me real soon, so keep an eye out. That review will be coming soon. And I have also got a little sample of the new Fenty Beauty one, so I'm hoping to review this soon. So keep your eyes peeled, ladies and gentlemen, because these will be uh, coming soon. <laughs> Coming soon to a YouTube near you. Anyway, concealer. <laughs> I switch up between two. I really love the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, but I really love this on days where I feel like my skin needs a little bit more hydration, a little bit more love, as the e.l.f. one can be a little bit drying. So I love an oldie, but a goodie, and it's the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. And I basically just kind of go in with this. <laughs> so I apply this to my under eyes, I apply it to any blemishes, I apply it to any redness. Hi, I'm Kiriel, I'm a 25 year old woman and I like to draw moustaches on myself with my concealer. <laughs> I've been using this brush by Makeup Revolution and I use the paddle end just because it works and it's quick and it's easy. <laughs> I just go in and I blend. So I basically just blend the concealer over my problematic areas, if I've got any spots, if I've got redness, which I have all over my face. I just use minimal amount of product to kind of just even myself out. I barely put any product on my forehead because it's the least problematic area and I don't feel like I need that much coverage on there. So I literally just use the excess on my brush and just briefly rub it over the top. I leave my under eyes to last because that's where I want the most amount of coverage, the most amount of brightness. I use tap motions with my paddle brush to really blend it in but keep the most amount of coverage there. So I'm not just splattering the product and moving it too much. I also take the excess on the brush and just tap it over my eyelids so they're nice and even and I all 
look one colour. Once I've done all this, I need to set everything. So I'm going to use my Jeffree Star, the powder, and I'm going to set my under eyes first of all and my eyelids, and then I'll go in with a bigger brush and just lightly dust over the rest of my face. I kind of switch between these two powders by the way which is a drastic price difference but I either use the Jeffree Star one or I use my collection press powder you guys know I really like this powder and it's literally two pounds the only difference is, is the Jeffree Star one is loose and a little bit more blurring but I do also like this as an alternative and I pack this one in my bag as well so if I ever need a touch up this is what I touch up with. So right now my skin, even though I've got a little bit of coverage, you can still see like all my freckles coming through and everything and you can still see a little bit of that glow. I do look a little bit bare in the face right now and just like a moon. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of colour. I don't tend to do contour bronzer just because I am a redhead naturally. I don't know if you guys can see that because I know it looks a little bit more brown but I am naturally a redhead. Naturally I'm not really gonna be bronzed as much as I wanna be. <laughs> So blush is more the route that I go with. I'm gonna take Max Peaches. I do alternate with like pinky and peachy blushes. This is just one of my favorite all-time blushes, so I'm gonna go in with this today. And I take this brush that I've been using from BH Cosmetics, and I kind of base it on my cheek, but not right on the apple. Just the kind of middle of my cheek. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> and I work it back and also forward, so I kind of just look like I naturally have that color to my skin, even though who has a peachy complexion? I wanna know them because, uh, I mean, how'd you do that? <laughs> but this kind of gives a little bit more structure and a little bit of colour to my face without it being too obviously fake. I don't know, it just looks a little bit more natural, you know? And I like to kind of blend it towards my eye just so we don't have that crazy concealer line or anything, you know? It all blends and is seamless with each other. I do also like to kind of merge it over my nose as well. Now is on to highlight. Yes, I do highlight. It brings life to your face. It brings light to your face. You look super healthy. So I will always use highlight. <laughs> Even though I've got this kind of glow to my skin, I still want to glow a little bit more, okay? <laughs> so I go in with the Rach Loves X Pixie Palette. I have been obsessed with this. I did actually film a review on this, but I just didn't like the way the video came out, if I'm being honest. It, I was all over the place, it was all over the place. I went in depth on how these all layer and what they look like all mixed and everything. If you'd like me to refilm that, then please leave a thumbs up on the video, and I definitely will. It is quite a versatile palette, and I've actually used this in many different ways, like as eyeshadows, and I've mixed the colors. I've really had a play with this, and I really love it, obviously, because I've been using it every single day. So if you guys want me to do an in-depth review, then please just leave a thumbs up and I'll get on that. I can bathe in highlight, so I really don't mind. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in with the shade Clutch and I go in with this Zoeva brush, which I really need a new one because uh, it's seen better days. <laughs> this is the Lux Crease Brush, the 228. And what I do with this is I just do a sweeping motion. So I put it on the highest point of my cheek and sweep backwards and towards my brow. I kind of make a C shape and then I just go in and kind of like dust the edges and it blends it out so nicely, but it gives that proper wet look, it doesn't accentuate any texture, and it just applies it so smoothly in that way, and I just love it. Look at that glow. I basically add this to all the high points of the face. I add it to the cheekbone, the brow bone, and then I use any excess on the brush that's left over on my forehead. And then I love using my finger to do my nose highlight, my cupid's bow, and my chin, just because I feel like it blends it out so nicely. And I apply it with one finger and blend with another, and the warmth just helps it not go overboard and also I have to add the inner corner because it just brightens everything and makes you look fresh and awake which is the look that I'm going for ultimately. <laughs> now I'm just gonna set the face real quick. I'm gonna use the Supreme Hold Finishing Spray by Revolution Pro. And I do this before brows and mascara just to, you know, save myself any aggravation with it bleeding or smudging or anything like that. And I like to do this because usually this is the time where I'm running out the door and I'm like, oh, I've spent too long doing my makeup, I need to leave now. So I'll just do my mascara at my destination. That is, that is the kind of life I lead. Okay. <laughs> Again, most unorganized person you will ever meet. I can't go wrong with soap brows, okay? They're like my favorite brows at the moment. And you can't tell me I'm wrong, okay? <laughs> No, sometimes I do soap brows, other times I use a brow gel, depending how I'm feeling on the day. If I feel like I need more areas filled in, I'll go in with a coloured brow gel. If I'm just feeling like I just want to stick my brows up, I use soap. And honestly, this is the cheapest and cheerful way to do your brows ever. On natural days, I'm not so worried about if there's any sparse areas or anything really. I just want them to kind of look a little bit 
groomed, you know, so they're not like wild, which I guess I'm making them more wild by making them stick up, but at least they're in place then and they're not going nowhere, okay? <laughs> Quick tip for soap brows, by the way, once you've applied the soap and you've kind of run it through your eyebrow, just wait for a minute or so and then brush them again because the soap stiffens a little bit and then you can really get it in place before it completely sets all together. Now it's time for a quick coat of mascara. I'm using the Bambi Eye False Lash Mascara. I think I've mentioned this in every single video that I filmed since I filmed this video, but I did a review on this and I think it was a little bit harsh, I'm not gonna lie. It's a good mascara and I think I was just expecting some kind of miracle stuff to come out of it. <laughs> but I have been using it and it has definitely got better with age. As we all do, darling. That was the most cringe thing I've ever done. Am I, am I a 70 year old woman in a 25 year old's body? Probably. <laughs> but I just add a light coat of mascara, like so. This is this is one of the most lengthening mascaras. I gotta give it to it. It's very pretty. And I've just been doing the outer corners of my lower lash line recently. I just feel like it opens up the eye, but gives a little bit of framework. So I've just been doing that with my mascara recently. And finally is lips. On the day-to-day, -day, again, I just want something simple that I can throw on. So I've been using the Revolution X Soap collaboration, just because it's easy. I find formulas like this where they're quite glossy an easy throw on lipstick. I don't want to have to spend time and really look at my lips. <laughs> so liquid lipsticks are kind of out of the question, matte lipsticks are kind of out of the question. Sometimes I'll just go out with a lip balm like this but if I want a little bit of colour I'll go in with this. This is in the shade Syrah and all I do is I go on the inside of the mouth on the bottom and the top lip and just kind of define my cupid's bow and I just go in with my finger and I just blend it all out. This just gives me a little bit of colour, slight definition but then also it's not harsh but I still feel like I'm finished, you know? I feel like putting on that lipstick just completed everything and yeah so this is the makeup that I do in about five to ten minutes honestly I've been filming for probably an hour <laughs> because I've just been taking my time and I've been going through every step obviously and talking you through it. Usually it doesn't take me that long. Yeah, that is it for this quick little video for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what's the main thing you can't miss out on every single day when you do your makeup. Is the fact that I skip foundation or contour devastating to you? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Just doing something like this makes me feel like I can take on the world and it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this video swayed you into wanting to subscribe. I hope it did. If you do want to, just hit the red button down below and the bell button. And we will welcome you with warm arms. But yeah, I'm now going to love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then. Bye, guys. So I'm going to use my Jeffree Star translucent palette. So I'm going to use my Def... It is quite a versatile palette and I've used it in Marini... And I've used it in... Bit but yeah, they did but they, they blah, 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 blah. I hope you guys I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope this video and I hope you just and I hope this video maybe oh, oh stay silent. Oh I know his I won't go speechless.